Hello and welcome to WiseLink Academy. Today we'll be looking into geometric construction. As you can see the question below. A triangle ABC stands on side AB as base and has the following dimension. AB 89 mm, AC 76 mm, angle A angle CAB 37 and a half degree construct triangle and draw the inscribed circle here is Isaiah idea please listen here is just a simple logic behind this right if I have uh, a triangle this way you know we all know triangle a triangle is a plane figure that has um, three sides right Let's say this is my triangle this way. This point here is my point A, here is my point B, and here is my C, right? So we are given dimension A, B to be what? It is 89, right? So I'll take my T square this way, right? I will construct, I will draw a horizontal line. Let's say from this point here, I'll draw a horizontal line this way. Faint one. Call this point here. My point A, right? Now at my point A, I will measure out what 89 geometer rule. So from this point here to this point, 89 falls at this point. So at that point here, my point, my point B, right? So I will take in the two points this way, taking it, taking it right so i have this now my next stack is what i'm given ac to be what 76 millimeter so i will take my compass and meter rule measure 76 76 falls here 76 right so i'll put my compass at a a this point here right and um, strike an arc this way Right. So next up, I'm given what angle CAB. I'm given angle CAB. The angle I'm considering, the angle I'm considering actually is angle C, right? So uh, sorry, angle A rather, angle A. So it simply means um, a line cut the circle at what angle 67 and a half. So I need to what construct the seven and a half here. So I have to do that. Follow this procedure. Draw a faint line this way. Now I will take my compass at point A and draw a semicircle with any radius of my choice this way. Right? This way. My next task: take it at this point, extend it to any radius of your choice. Strike an arc here. One. Come to this point, strike an arc here. Where the arc cut is at this point. So at that point, I will draw a vertical line, touch those points this way. Simply with this line I've drawn here is what? Angle what? Angle 90 degree. Right? Angle 90 degree. Now my next task now is that I know very well that we have some special angles. Angle 45, um, angle 60, angle 90, and uh, angle 30 degree. Now, my question is that C7 and R falls in between 90 and 60, right? So, I need to construct out what 60. So, I have to construct out 60. I know very well that um, I will take my, let's say this point here is my point A prime. It becomes what? Point A. A prime prime. I'll take me measurement of A prime prime and A this way. So strike an arc this way at this point. Here, this point here, I can call it my point G. So extend that point, the faint line this way. It's going to be what 60 degree. I did not take in these two lines because what I did not need them. I'm looking for 67 and a half. 
So my next task is that the, my next question is that the angle between these two are what? Are 30, right? 90 minus 60 is your 30. So the angle between these two is 30, right? So I need to get half of 30, which is 15. This is G, right? I call this here G prime prime. So take my compass at point G. Extend the 20 radius of the choice. Strike an arc at this point one. Come to G prime prime. Strike an arc. Where the arc caught is at this point. At that point, I will take my meter rule, connect it to point A this way. Here is going to what 15 degree. Right? So my next tax here is that I will need to bisect 15 degree this point here. This angle here. If I bisect this angle here, let's this is my G, right? I call it H. Let me call here my point H. Now I'll bisect G and H. What do I get? I'll take my compass at any radius of my choice. Strike an arc at point G. Then move to point H this way and then cut your arc. Where the arc cut is at this point, right? So at that point, I will draw a thick line from this point here to this point. I will draw a thick line. That is what I need. Right? So I take in that and connect my B to that point this way. So this is my point C. My point C, as you can see in front of you. So the angle between this point and this point is going to be what 67 and half this point and this point 67 and half since i've gotten the angle between them my next tax line is what inscribe the circle the sound the circle to touch each um a, a each what line of the triangle so if you want to inscribe here's the concept you pick two angles, either A or B or C. So I would, I need, I want to choose. To me, I will choose angle, um, let's say A and B. So if I'm to do that, I will take my compass at point B with any rest of a choice. Just strike an arc this way. Come to B, and let me call this point, um, point F. Here becomes F prime prime. So now with the same radius, don't shift it. At F, strike an arc. At F prime prime, at this point here, strike an arc. Where the arc caught is at this point, right? So at that point, I will draw a line passing through that point and my point B. Faint line this way. I have this. Right? My next task is to bisect this two angle too. If I have A, a this way, if I draw, I'm going to just draw a pen, a, um, any rest of, of my choice. Call this this way. I can decide to call this here I prime and here I prime prime. Right? At I prime, strike an arc. At I prime prime, call the arc. Where the arc meets is at this point. Now connect that point to point A. This point to this point, point A, with a faint line. So where these two lines I drew are touching here, I call it point what? P. Now at my point P here, at this point, I will take my compass, right at this point here, and gauge it. If I gauge it, it simply means that I need to get it, take time to get it so that I have um, a perfect um, drawing. Sorry, at this point, I need to get it. Get it. 
So if I get it, I'll just take it this way. As you can see. Take it this way. So you can see that my circle is touching the um, edge of this line of this um, triangle line. Can you see that now? So here is how to inscribe a circle in a triangle, right? So you found this um, class helpful. Kindly click on the subscribe button and like. Thank you. Welcome to WiseLink Academy. Mm -hmm.